I thought the uh, uh, stretch from uh, you know, the six or seven minute mark uh, in, in the first half to, uh, I don't know, the first seven minutes of the second half was probably as good as any consecutive stretch that, that we played this year. So it was exciting to see that, just the, uh, you know, the level of defense that we were playing through that stretch. And, just the ball was moving very well, and, and, and guys were making a lot of plays out there, so it was a lot of fun to watch. Were you upset prior to that? Did you, were you talking to the team just about, about just the defense not being great? We had some subtle breakdowns, and, and again, uh, you know, the kid Jackson is, is a very good player. He's, he's, he scored, and you know, he scored a lot of points this year. And, uh, you know, we missed, you know, we lost him. We over-rotated and left him a couple times in the first half, and then, uh, there was a ball screen or two where we weren't up, uh, and then he turned the corner and got three point play. So there were a few plays like that, but uh, you know th th they scored a little bit too easily in, in post and the paint, uh, and, and that was an issue with our defense. But once we settled into the game, and um, we really locked down very well for for a large part of the game. Did you make this decisions to change the way you were defending the post? Just we, we just talked to the guys about anchoring down better and, and, and just holding their ground a little better. He did, uh, the kid's about 250 pounds, solid, and, and he was kind of backing us in a couple of times. So it was uh, it was more of I, I was pleased though just overall just um, I think we, we created 18 turnovers. We, that was a you know priority based on um, just what we saw in film and just being active on defense and, and that was a real plus uh, defensively. The injuries too. I mean, obviously guys getting out, but knowing that it is one game at a time. But as you get later in the season, I mean, especially with the depth and like you said, mix and minors, how important is it to get those guys in if they're on teams or in foul trouble and get that experience? Uh, our ceiling is, is very high. It's it's uh, when we you know when we get guys back and, and uh, guys that are very important. Um, again tonight, not having two starters and, and a rotation player and, and you know having. You know, eight scholarship players available tonight. It was, uh, you know, it was it was not easy. We knew going in that the margin was 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 pretty narrow for us not to have key players in foul trouble, and um, you know we had some ways to, to work through that if, if that became the case. But uh, it's nice when you when you can count on guys like you know Zylan's approach. I thought was unbelievable. Just um, the way his patience, his, his unselfishness, uh, his passing, and. Uh, and, and his defense. I mean, he's he's a winner, and that kid is uh, is a heck of a player. And you know, I think he's one assist short of, of a triple double uh, from the from the forward spot. So it's really great when uh, when you have a guy like that out there. Does a game like tonight also showcase leadership abilities? Just having you know some of the other guys running on the bench. Yeah, I mean, for a game like this, after the emotion of last week and and. Uh, just the excitement of, of winning a tournament like that and, and knocking off a top 15 team to have the maturity to come back and and, and play a, a mid-major opponent that you know they if you weren't ready to play the, you know that game would have went down to the wire you know like it did at Colorado with this team so it was uh, it was great that we were able to have that stretch to to really you know separate from them and I think Jazz Island's maturity and. Uh, was, was clutch uh, for us to do that. For the last two, three games, it seems like we always talk about Tayshawn Chair and his development. Uh, tonight, tonight a career high. Uh, is he really just in the trajectory that you expect him to yeah, be? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's just really, he made some great plays. Just, uh, you know, his defense was solid, and, and uh, he adds a new dimension to our team. You know, a guy that you can't leave unaccounted for, you know, behind the three-point line, you know, the way he can shoot it. And, you know, even the stuff the times we got him in the mid post, he, uh, you know, that mid range jump shot's very good too. So he's, uh, and he's not just that, but but that's it was nice to see him be in a, in a great rhythm on offense. What's been the difference between the last two games for him and the first few? I mean, it's it's a matter of time, and I've been I've been talking about that, and just when you have an injury that that you're out for five weeks and, and you miss, you know, over a month of practice and and you know all that time. It, it takes a while to, to get back and, and, and find your uh, rhythm. It seemed like the defense really picked up as the game went on. Was that something that you called? Was there a scheme change, or was that just more of an effort? No, they you know look they hit some shots and I, I, I give them credit they were ready to play. I mean they came out. They, Kid Jackson's a good player and I thought we did a great job on Gibson. You know overall throughout the whole game he was another guy we were you know, pr pretty concerned about. Um, 
again, just, just shoring up points in the paint, you know, and not uh, their, uh, the kid pile, I think, at 13 at halftime. He's averaging nine, so just to, to try and limit, you know, guys like that um, having that kind of impact on the game early. They went to him a lot. We didn't, we didn't handle that uh, the best possible way uh, that we can. But I know there were other, other things, you know, they, I think they banked one from the corner. And, you know, so, I mean, there were things happening out there. Too. <laughs> Bobby, when, when do you expect to have Rob and I mean your whole team? When do you expect to have your whole team back together? Look, it's it's. I know that, like, I mean, I could go through the whole injury report, but I'm not really going to do that. But it's it's, you know, the doctors. I I, I spent Monday morning in, in the doctor's office for several hours. So, you know, I've I've been there more than I, I've ever been there. Um, and and we're we're progressing. Everyone's progressing. The guys that aren't in there and. I'm being told and, and just feedback I'm getting from the guys that are out and from our doctors that these aren't, you know, long-term things to be concerned about. But at the same time, I, I'm going to protect my players, make sure that they're 100% healthy when, when they have an opportunity to go. Remy was just uh, a warrior to, to play through his, his situation in Vegas, knowing the importance of that tournament for our season and, uh, you know, with the high ankle sprain to, to give the minutes um, that he gave and, and was so good against Mississippi State. He, just based on that effort, he needed uh, he needed to not play tonight. And he's day to day, Rob is day to day, Mickey's day to day, and and each day we'll see how they feel and, and, and reevaluate. Hey, do you think uh, you guys are so athletic and, and play close to the basket? Is that a conducive, is that style conducive to conference play and then well, I mean, you, you try and uh, basketball sometimes comes down to matchups and, and where where you have an advantage in, on the floor. And you know, with us, with with Zion's unique ability to you know to knife his way to the basket because he's got such a great first step, and and then he's such a good passer. If 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 help is coming to him, that you know we're going to play through him quite a bit in, in a number of different ways. I mean, he's he played you know, point guard some for us tonight and. You know, we could play through Tay, we could play through Lake and Ramella White. So the ball's going to go inside, and, and believe me, Lou's going to have plenty of chances to, uh, you know, to, to, to play in ball screens and make plays on the perimeter. Uh, Bill Kamani had great minutes as well, just uh, some of the shot making that, that he had through the stretch that we were playing, you know, our very best of the night. So there's just, there's a lot of weapons on the floor, and you just hope that, you know, that, that we, we make the right choices with, with you know, who we go after. You know, when you have Dort and Cherry and Zylan and either Lake or Mello White um, and Kamani, there's a lot of guys that can make plays out there. So you just, you know, you, you move the ball and, and you find, you know, the, uh, the matchup that you need to find. Do you think your guys are unselfish enough, mature enough to handle all that when everybody comes back to share the ball and it might be one guy one game, somebody else's next game? They, they haven't shown me or given me any reason to believe that, that, that they won't be that way. See, we, I don't think we have any straight scorers on this team. I mean, Lou Gantz will, will score points, but I don't think he identifies himself as a scorer. So he does so many different things, rebounds, guards the ball, steals the ball, blocks. I mean, he's like an all-around player. Most of the guys that we have, I think, value doing, doing a lot of different things well. And, and uh, so by nature, you know, just the, the roster itself is, is kind of built towards moving the ball, making the right play.